All right, here we go, folks. Let's see if I can get you a better angle here. Oh, does that work? I gotta get out of here before I crash. Oh, you can't see it, eh? Oh, it's doing that weird number thing. Hmm. Let me see if I pull the phone closer. That does anything. Sort of. So, I don't know if you can read that. 662 on one, one side, 676 on the other. 22 amp draw, and 19. What does this mean? I have no idea. <laughs> what are we doing here? 3.7 knots. All right, so on the north side of the island here, the current is no longer. The wind, as you can see, has died down quite a lot. Doing about uh, 4.6, 4.8 knots. And yeah, just puttering along like everybody else. Uh, we're doing, so apologize that it doesn't come out clear on the phone, but we're doing roughly uh, 830, 840 per side far as uh, prop shaft RPMs go. Uh, we're drawing 37 starboard, 35-ish, 34, 35 on port, and um, that's kind of it. Uh, I don't really know where else to take this test. I don't wanna apply too much power to the motors. I don't wanna drain the batteries too much. They are quite old and um, yeah, they're starting to show their age, you know, they're seven years old. Uh, seven on one side and five on the other. And um, yeah, I've been pretty hard on them because it, it, this has been a uh, bit of a prototype boat. So there's times where I just, um, I drain them down as, as deep as I can, right? And uh, sometimes I'm just crawling back into the, uh, into the marina. But um, at this point, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to, uh, push it too much right I just want to do what I would normally do for cruising just puttering around the island and um, those are the numbers 840 per side I'm sure if I uh, dumped a lot of amps to the motors uh, we could get up and around a thousand but it just means that the motors are probably spinning at around uh, 1600 I, I think it's a two to one ratio I have to double check that it's been a while since I've looked but um, there you go that's kind of it. It's it's an amazing day. Yeah, it's just beautiful. I hope you guys are having a good time as well. This might be my last day out on the boat for a while because even though we are 20% um, uh, um, in this province, there's still uh, still shutting us down so <laughs> up is down right up is down anyway all right so um, gonna head back here just went to the uh, north side of the island beautiful day enjoying it quite a lot um, I'm doing 840 five-ish per prop right now. Each prop shaft is spinning at about 845. I've got, I'm pulling 46 amps on starboard, 42 on port side, and we're anywhere from 4.6 to 5.4, um, 5.4 knots. So, you know what? It is what it is. I, I love it. This is um, this is uh, a decent little prototype, and it's an affordable prototype. And um, you know, if you've ever had any desire to convert a boat, um, I say just go for it. Obviously, I say this. Uh, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. It all depends on your style. If you're looking to water ski, this is not your thing. Uh, if you're looking to you know go super fast, this is not your thing. But if you're looking to putter around and maybe go port to port to port, like 
Uh, there's some islands that are uh, not too far away from here where you can pretty much just cruise the islands. Each, um, each marina is anywhere from uh, 10 to 15 uh, knots away from each other. And uh, yeah, just beautiful cruising over there. So um, yeah, uh, if you're looking to do a cabin cruiser, I just say go for it. And it depends, it's up to you what you want to spend on money or on, yeah, like what kind of money you want to spend on, um, to get the boat doing what, what you're going to be happy with, right? If you want this boat to get up on plane, which they never really do, they more or less just push water. Um, these are, <laughs> that's a whole other story, but um, you're going to need some bigger, badder, beefier motors and batteries. But if you're looking to do like hull speeds, uh, maybe you've come from the sailboat world where you're kind of sick of, sick and tired of running around the shrouds and up sail, down sail, tripping over shit, bumping your head, and you want to get something. Like for me, I'm over six feet, um, six two apparently, but I shaved my head, so I might be a little bit shorter. But um, you know, and, and you know, I'm about two fifteen, and uh, to get a sailboat that I can be comfortable in it has to be around forty feet, and even then, it's not that comfortable. Still bashing my head, but um, I know there's different styles and stuff like that. But I'm just talking in general. Anyway, if you've come from that, uh, if you're coming from the sailboat world and you want something that you can just kind of turn the keys on, uh, back it out and get out and enjoy the day of uh, being out in the water, a little camping, uh, camping out in the water, picnics out in the water, drop anchor, just hang out, you know, then something like this might be worthwhile. There's lots of uh, boats out there that could get rescued and um, I encourage people to do that. Of course, if you're the kind of person with super deep pockets and you want to buy something brand new, uh, I don't know what that world is about. <laughs> I don't, like, I go to the boat show, I see people looking at them, but um, it's just not my style and uh, it's totally cool that people do that, but that ain't me. Um, and one of the great things about this is that I've shown everybody from a really, really uh, basic perspective of how it, whoa, <laughs> what was that? I'm like surfing here. Um, off goes the bell. Not yet. Um, who was that? Not that guy. Anyway, um, what was I talking about? I just showed, I just want to say that uh, I'm getting a little bit long in the tooth here, but I'm out in the water, man, just cruising around. And um, I want to just share with people that. This is uh, about as basic a prototype as you'd want for a cabin cruiser of this size. So, um, you know, we chose the uh, DC system. Uh, the DC motors are great for torque, so if they're not super powerful, um, high spinning uh, uh, DC motors, you can take advantage of the torque, right? Which is what you would need in a big old heavy boat like this. Um, not to say that AC wouldn't work, AC would work as well. But for this system, we just kept it simple. DC motors, the Lynch motors, they're great motors. Um, you, you know, I, I'm still going with LEDs. I, I have my reasons why. Uh, I'll be having a discussion, probably a live discussion with uh, a friend of mine from Bluefin uh, Electric Marine. And um, yeah, we've decided that we're gonna do a live stream sometime soon, so stay tuned for that and uh, we're gonna have a healthy debate <laughs> um, about batteries and things. But um, yeah, so this is, like I said, it's a simple setup. Uh, I've got Kelly controllers. Uh, you can use any type of controllers you want. I've shown people how to build their own throttles. Um, again, disclaimer, do all this at your own risk. If you don't know what you're doing, get an, elect like an electrical engineer, electronics engineer, a marine technician get whoever you need to get in order to be safe um, I don't do the conversions uh, a few people ask me about stuff but look I don't have the math <laughs> behind me to tell everybody oh well if you're using this boat this is exactly what you should do I don't know um, everything here has been like an uh, uh, trial and error uh, anecdotal and just sort of the the, the nutball mentality of doing it um, but it can be done. So the nice thing about this is you can only go up, right? You can only go up from here. If you got a little bit more change, um, I've been frugal with my stuff. You've seen in previous videos, you know, I try to spend as little as I can and the stuff that I trade, like that I pull out, I try to 
sell it and you know offset the cost of the new stuff but um, anyway I'm long in the tooth it's a beautiful day thanks for the ride uh, tachometers work so we'll call this uh, test three um, I can't remember if I answered any questions on the videos I have a video out there that's getting a lot of views uh, it's funny because it's it's about five or six years old and uh, for some reason YouTube keeps pushing that one it was a different boat back then and I was a different person back then but it's called uh, not your typical marine transmission that seems to be the one that's pulling a lot of the new subs in and more of the comments but um, I'll just tell everybody straight up look I know that a pulley system is a transmission this comes up a lot this is why I'm saying it um, the whole point of that video is to show the simplicity of it. It's not a typical marine transmission. Like if you look at any type of inboard with the bell housing and all that stuff that you need for your typical inboard motor. Um, and I'm just showing you the difference of a simple little electric setup with the pulley, uh, pulley system and um, that's it. But I know those are always the kind of the gearhead engineers that always pointing that out, uh, which is cool, I appreciate it. Uh, but look, a lot of this stuff I shoot from the hip and you know, I trip over my tongue, I might not say something perfect. Uh, these videos are meant to just be inspirational to get everybody out on the water, enjoy the ocean, save this blue planet um, as much as you can. I'm not gonna preach to anybody about like fossil fuels and all that stuff because they look, I still like muscle cars. I still like motorcycles, um, trains, planes, <laughs> you name it. But um, I feel like if you're going out on the water and you're a, just like a casual cruiser, like a weekender, like me, there's no reason to not go electric. There really isn't. Uh, if you want to go farther and you want to go electric, then get a sailboat and get a, make it a hybrid or something. But see what you can do there's lots of avenues to explore but i'll tell you that one of the best things about being on this boat is this i can talk i can just talk to you and it's quiet and i haven't put the tunes on or anything right i've just been blabbing away and uh there's no fumes coming into the cockpit and it's this very simple setup something goes wrong i could you know if i blew a motor i could change the motor in five minutes all those great benefits. Anyway, I'm going to end it now. Bye.